storms we're expecting has an East County community worried about more flooding. Yeah, a lot of people worried right now. 10 News reporter Jared Aaron's live in Lakeside to show us what they are doing and what everybody can be doing before the storms hit. Jared? Good morning, Virginia. Jason, we got this email from a guy who lives in this neighborhood. This is near Winter Gardens in Lemoncrest. He says this area is horrible for flooding when it rains. And look, they are getting ready. They've already had the city put out flooding signs to warn drivers and people who live here have built walls of sandbags to protect their homes. Still, even with all this, they say it may not be enough. It's eroding the soil at the fence line over here uh, and, and it's fallen down because of it. And then if you go further back in the back, back there, it's doing the same thing back there. Yeah, Ken Hughes sent a cell phone video of his street back during a storm in December. Look at that. You can see the water. He says it got as high as his calf muscle. It poured into his yard and his home. And this is a home he just moved into this fall. The city says fixing this street in this area is the next project on their list in Lakeside. They just don't have the funding yet. So we talked to geologist Pat Abbott about what everybody can do around the city to protect their homes. And he says even if you're not in a high risk area, you still need to get ready. Even if you're not on the floodplain, uh, is there a slope behind you? Are there drainage ditches up there? Grab a shovel, walk up there and take a look and uh, move some dirt if it's going to help that water go by without coming downhill into your house. Now, Abbott told us that you need to walk around your house. Also, look for any trouble spots and just like these people did, start preparing before the rain starts falling. Now, coming up in 30 minutes, what city crews are doing to protect trouble spots, including the one area they think might be hit the worst. Live in Lakeside, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thank you, Jared. And remember, you can always check the real-time weather conditions in your neighborhood on our free 10 News app.